All right. Simplify variable expressions using properties. I don't have a lot of notes for this one. Because I think... Oh, because I think you guys can do it. So here we go. Take a look at this. This is f plus 1 plus 3. My question is, do these parentheses do anything for us? These parentheses mean nothing for us. They're not telling us to do anything. They're not, there's nothing that I can do inside the parentheses. These parentheses don't help us. So ignore them. f plus 1 plus 3. This is f plus 4. That's it. I'm combining terms. The parentheses are doing nothing. Here's another one. Are these parentheses doing anything? Is there a square outside? Are there things inside that I need to take care of first? Are they helping me with order of operations? These parentheses are doing nothing for me. This is just negative 4 plus f plus 3. Combining my air bubbles, I get negative 1. This is f minus 1. That's it. Are these parentheses doing anything for me? They kind of are. They actually are. They're making it so it doesn't look like a 4 minus a 2R. These parentheses are telling me, hey, watch out, this is actually multiplication. This is 4 times negative 2R. Well, what's 4 times negative 2? Negative 8R. So those parentheses did have a point to them. They were making sure that we didn't get confused and say, oh, this is really 4 minus 2R. By putting the parentheses there, I know that it's multiplication and not subtraction. All right, that's it for that one. Ooh. What is, this is called whirls, whirls. Okay, see you in class. Bye-bye.